Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and welcome to our first Academy video. In this video, uh, I'm going to be going over how to load, edit, save, and then reload your preset with those changes made. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to go into Clip Studio Paint. Okay, so as you can see here, we have Clip Studio Paint open. We have the Artist Pad here on the left. Now there's this little hamburger menu, which is the horizontal three lines. We're going to choose Layout, Edit, Layout. Uh, alternately, we can go here to the little mouse icon, choose Layout, and Edit Layout from here. If you go about it this way, it'll open up the actual one that you have loaded. If you go through the uh, Store app in the Start menu, down here, and click Tablet Pro, it'll open a generic one. It's not going to open up the one that you have loaded. So this is a very important point. So here, we're going to pinch in. If yours looks like this, click the big Preview button. And let's tap on a button here. Let's say that we want this one to be a different function. Now I recommend changing what we already have as opposed to building yours from scratch, but if you want to do that, watch the next video on how to set up your personal preset from scratch and how everything works and all of the numbers and settings inside of here. All right, so here we have selected this button and we're going to choose from the drop down list right here. You can see it says E. If we wanted to pick something else here, we can pick a different function. Uh, frames, these are, are all trackpads, virtual trackpads. And down here at the very bottom, these are trackpads that start in a specific location. So those are good for adjusting sliders if you have something like an opacity slider or a brush size slider. So those are good for that. Uh, click location will let you click somewhere on the screen that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut. Uh, and that's as far as I'm going to go into advanced things. Okay, so we select this right here. And you can see, uh, clicking on this ellipsis, the three dots will give you a list of icons to choose from. Clicking here will bring up colors and all uh, going down the same thing. Location, you would put your specific location in here. In order to do that, if you have the pen tool installed, uh, it will auto load the preset over here for Tablet Pro. I will do this manually so you can see how to do that. Tablet Pro Manager. You can see here we have a new set of um, shortcuts that will help with us uh, editing these inside of the Tablet Pro Layout Editor. Okay, so right here we've set this to click location. Let's say we want this button to click a location inside of Clip Studio. All right, so we're going to press the transparency button, which is shift win key backslash. I'm going to press it until we see as much as we want here. Let's say we want it to click this rotate icon. So we're going to click the location button. That's alt plus X on a keyboard. It's copied that to the clipboard. And now down here, we're going to click location and put, uh, put it in. <laughs> Hit face, control V. Okay, so uh, now this button right here, when we click on it, is going to uh, click that spot specifically uh, inside of Clip Studio Paint, which is really cool. Uh, you can do the same thing picking a color. So let's use transparency. Let's say I really like this deep, lovely red color. So I'm going to click the color button. You can see it's copied the color to the clipboard hit transparency again, and let's say that we want to make the background color of this button that deep, beautiful red. All right, so let's go ahead and click Save, and let's look at our changes. So we're going to close or minimize the layout editor, and then here we're going to go back to Clip Studio Paint. If you have the pen tool running, it'll switch these for you. So you can see we have this beautiful button here, and voila, it clicks here, and now I can rotate the image. This is a very large image. <laughs> okay, now if I double click here in Clip Studio, it will reset it for me, so that's pretty cool. Uh, all right, so that is the end of this first video. Uh, if you're trying to figure out how to load your settings and you're not using the pen tool, you just right click here, 
layout, load preset, and then look for the file that you just made. Make sure it's the same one that you loaded and save it someplace easy to remember if you have a hard time or you're having some complexities in getting this to show up. One thing to note is that there are different modes in a single file. So here I have preset premiere open. I have a small, a medium, and a large artist pad. They're all very, very different. So you can set them up however you want. And keep in mind, those are not sizes of the same thing. So typically we'll be in the artist pad medium. That's my preference. And you'll notice whatever mode you have open, if you use the right click menu to open it up, it should open it to the correct layout, the correct mode here. If not, just adjust that manually. All right, that's it. All right, stay tuned for video two.